What if you spent 5 seconds on Venus? Welcome to a journey that's out of this world. Today we're exploring a planet known for its intense heat and crushing atmospheric pressure. A planet that's both intriguing and deadly. Venus. Have you ever pondered what it would be like to spend just 5 seconds on this second planet from the Sun? Well, strap in as we embark on this interplanetary thought experiment. Imagine being aboard a state-of-the-art spacecraft designed to withstand Venus's harsh conditions for a brief visit. As the countdown begins, the adrenaline rush is palpable. Five seconds, that's all the time you've got to experience the Venusian environment firsthand. But wait, before we dive into this thrilling adventure, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and have hit the notification bell. You wouldn't want to miss any of our mind-blowing space adventures, would you? All right, let's set the stage. You're aboard a state-of-the-art spacecraft designed to withstand the harsh conditions of Venus for a very brief visit. This technological marvel, a testament to human ingenuity, is equipped with the latest advancements in heat shielding and pressure resistance. It's the only thing standing between you and the unforgiving Venusian environment. As the spacecraft hovers in Venus's orbit, the mission control team on Earth gives the go-ahead. The descent sequence is initiated. A digital countdown timer on the control panel blinks to life. It's set to five seconds. Your heart pounds in your chest as you strap in, the gravity of the situation sinking in. Five seconds on Venus, that's all you've got. Each second that ticks away on the countdown timer feels like an eternity. The cockpit is filled with a tense silence, save for the hum of the spaceship and the occasional blip of the control panel. In these final moments before the descent, you can't help but feel a surge of adrenaline. This is it. The countdown continues. Three, two, one. The spacecraft shudders as the descent engines roar to life. There's no turning back now. As you plunge towards the Venusian surface, a wave of anticipation washes over you. What will five seconds on Venus feel like? Will it be as inhospitable as the scientists predict? The spacecraft's heat shields glow with an eerie light as you penetrate the thick Venusian atmosphere. The temperature outside the spacecraft begins to rise, but the internal systems are holding steady. You take a deep breath, prepared for the unknown. This is the moment you've been waiting for. It's time to experience Venus firsthand. To venture where no human has ventured before. You can't help but wonder how this brief encounter will change your perspective on the universe and our place in it. Five seconds. That's all you've got. It seems like such a short time, but when you're about to set foot on an alien world, every second counts. As the descent continues, you brace yourself for what's to come. The adventure of a lifetime is just moments away. The spacecraft plummets through the clouds, and as you approach the surface, the temperature rises drastically. You can feel the heat radiating through the spacecraft's hull, an ominous sign of the inferno outside. The Venusian atmosphere, thick with carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid, provides a foreboding welcome. As you descend, the spacecraft's exterior begins to glow, the heat shield working overtime to combat the intense temperatures. It's a testament to the marvel of human engineering that you're not instantly incinerated. You might be wondering why Venus, sister planet to Earth, is so oppressively hot. It's due to a runaway greenhouse effect. Sunlight penetrates the atmosphere, warms the surface, and gets trapped, unable to escape back into space. Over time, this has turned Venus into the hottest planet in our solar system. As you draw closer to the surface, the pressure intensifies, reaching a staggering 92 times that of Earth's at sea level. It's equivalent to being one kilometer underwater on Earth. Your spacecraft creaks and groans under the strain, a chilling reminder of the hostile environment just beyond the hull. But it's not just the heat and pressure that are extreme. The wind howls outside, whipping around at speeds up to 220 miles per hour in the upper atmosphere. It's a veritable storm of sulfuric acid, painting the sky in hues of yellow and orange. And then, the descent ends. The spacecraft's landing gear touches the surface, sinking slightly into the cracked volcanic rock. The temperature reading is off the charts. In just a few moments, it reaches over 900 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt lead. And there you are on Venus, the embodiment of hell in our solar system. The conditions are unimaginable, the landscape alien and hostile, but for five seconds it's your reality. A testament to the power of human curiosity and the lengths we'll go to satisfy it. As the hatch opens, you step out in your advanced, temperature-resistant spacesuit. The ground beneath you feels solid, but there's no time to admire the surroundings. The intense heat and pressure are immediate and unrelenting. You're standing on Venus. 
a planet second from the Sun in our solar system, known for its harsh and inhospitable conditions. The surface beneath you is a vast plain of volcanic rock, stretching as far as the eye can see. The terrain is rugged and uneven, a testament to the planet's active geological past. Venus is a planet of extremes with mountains that dwarf Earth's highest peaks and deep canyons that plunge into darkness. As you take a moment to absorb the surreal landscape, you notice the sky. It's not blue like on Earth, but a constant oppressive yellowish hue due to the thick sulfuric acid clouds that envelop the planet. The atmosphere is so dense that it's more like standing at the bottom of an ocean than on the surface of a planet. Despite the extreme conditions, Venus has a certain stark beauty, but its beauty is deceptive. This is a world where lead would melt into a puddle, where the air pressure is equivalent to being half a mile underwater on Earth. It's a place of crushing pressures, scorching temperatures, and sulfuric acid rain. There's no question about it, Venus is not a place for humans. You take one final look at the volcanic landscape, a sight few have ever seen. But your time is running out, the heat is seeping into your suit and every second counts. You can't help but feel a sense of awe at the sheer power of nature, even in its most destructive form. The Venusian surface is harsh, with vast plains of volcanic rock and towering mountains. It's a barren and desolate place. But for all its hostility, Venus holds a unique allure. It's a reminder of the incredible diversity of our solar system and the challenges that await us as we continue to explore the cosmos. You've been on Venus for just a few seconds and now it's time to leave. The countdown timer is ticking. Every second counts as you make your way back to the spacecraft. The weight of the moment is palpable, the ticking of the countdown clock echoing in your ears. The adrenaline coursing through your veins is your only ally against the deceptive stillness of the Venusian landscape. Venus, as captivating as it is, is no place for prolonged human presence. The scorching heat is almost tangible, even through the protective layers of your advanced spacesuit. It's over 900 degrees Fahrenheit out here, hotter than the surface of Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. It's a stark reminder that the universe is as lethal as it is beautiful. The seconds on the countdown clock are slipping away, each tick a reminder of the inhospitable nature of our neighboring planet. Three seconds, two seconds, the spacecraft is within reach now. You can almost feel the relief that awaits inside its temperature-regulated confines. The heat is oppressive now, like a physical entity pushing against you. It's a sensation that will be etched into your memory, a token from this alien world. But there's no time to dwell on it now. The countdown clock is nearing its end. With only moments to spare, you rush back to the spacecraft, feeling the intense heat through your suit. As the spacecraft takes off, you're grateful to leave behind the unforgiving atmosphere of Venus. The engines roar, the ground recedes, and you're thrust back into the relative coolness of space. The harsh, molten landscape of Venus shrinks away, becoming once again the serene, cloud-covered marble you observe from afar. This sudden shift from the extreme conditions of Venus to the tranquility of space is jarring. But as the adrenaline rush subsides, you can't help but reflect on the brief, intense encounter with one of the solar system's most inhospitable planets. You think about the searing heat that could melt lead, the crushing atmospheric pressure akin to being half a mile deep in Earth's oceans, and the choking, corrosive air filled with carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid. And yet, in spite of it all, there's a strange beauty to Venus, a stark reminder of the incredible diversity and extremes found within our cosmic neighborhood. As your spacecraft speeds away, Venus recedes into the distance, becoming just another point of light in the vast sea of stars. The journey back to Earth will take months, giving you plenty of time to contemplate the profound experience of your brief sojourn on Venus. In no time, you're safely on your way back home, reflecting on the incredibly brief but unforgettable visit to the second planet from the Sun.